So you're going to need a strap. So a strap or a tie or a belt, something like that, scarf. You're going to start down on the ground. Take your right foot and put your strap around your right foot. And this is it, this is the pose. Stretching here and stretching here and stretching here. And then if your shoulders are like mine and they're trying to go up to your feet, take them back and down the back. You can make your strap as long as you want, it doesn't matter. Just feel that stretch. And if you want to, you can flex your foot and feel it way into your calf muscle. Good. And then take this left foot and hook it under your right knee. And then come up like this. This is figure four needling. Still stretching the foot, but now we're adding a stretch for this foot, the uh, left foot, flexing it. We're going to do this again standing up in a minute. Good. Now take your legs up in the air, flex your feet, and lower them down, cover them, and bring them back up. And this time, let's take the left leg down, strap around the, I mean, sorry, right leg down, strap around the left foot, roll your shoulder blades back and down the back, flex your, flex your foot, feel right in there, and right in there. It's pretty simple, but it's very effective. And then take your right foot and hook it under your left knee here. That's a hip opener, but we are doing a little bit of a foot stretch here, and flexing our left foot. release out of that. Hug your knees into your body. You can lift your straw for a second. Let's roll up to tabletop. Come into your tabletop. Inhale to a cow lift. Drop your belly. Let your heart forward. Exhale, cut, tuck. Belly button the spine, spine to the ceiling. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, down dog. Roll your toes under. There's a foot stretch and a calf stretch. Feel it here. In our downward dog, we're pressing down through our knuckles, lifting out of the wrists, lifting out of the elbows, lifting out of the shoulders, taking the sits bones a little bit higher. And in this pose, if your if your heels don't want to go down to the ground, that's okay. And if you and if you feel better doing downward dog with your knees bent, that's also fine. It's okay. It's a hamstring stretch, it's a calf muscle stretch, just, just feel it wherever it is for you. The heels will come to the ground eventually. Now bend your knees, look between your hands, step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale to a flat back, exhale forward bend. See if you can feel that same calf stretch that we were doing on the floor. Same hamstring and calf stretch. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart, okay. So we're going to do the same thing, standing up. Take your strap, put it around your right foot. And of course, we're balancing now, so it's all different. Everything's different. But you see how my shoulders are still trying to do that thing where they reach for the foot? So I'm going to take my shoulders back and down the back. Whoa. Maybe I'll fall down. Stretching that calf muscle. See what I did there? I just flexed my foot, and I took it right into the calf. That's powerful. Good. Release that strap. Look. And then put your foot. First, let's go to a tree pose. So a tree pose, Virgsasana. It's a little bit of a calf and a foot stretch here, just by pressing the foot into the thigh. And then do this one. More extreme version. This is standing pigeon. You can hook your foot on top of that quad muscle. It's going to get deep into your hip. If you feel this in your knee, be careful. We really don't want to feel it in our knee. We want to feel it in our hip. But it's an interesting foot stretch, and it gets more interesting as we do this. Watch. So we're going to come down. I hope I'm in the shot. We're going to come down like this. Don't, you don't have to hop. I just did that to get back in the shot. Come on down. Weird, right? And then... 
So here we balance, except I can't really do it. Here we balance. But I want to show you this. You don't have to turn, I'm turning. Look at my foot. See, like my bottom foot, the huge stress that's happening here? It's huge. Ugh, it would be better if I could balance. But it's a big, big foot stretch. My whole feet. Good. And then come back up the same way, look down. Release that foot. Take your strap. Let's do the other leg. Put it around the left foot. Yeah. There we go. Flexing the foot. See my shoulders coming forward. I'm going to take them forward, up, and back down the bag. It doesn't matter how long that strap is. Make it as long as you want. Feel the hamstring stretch for the cat stretch. It's a good, solid pose. Good. Lose your strap. Come into tree pose. Rukhsasana. Find your foot. Both feet, right? Because this one's having a little bit of an experience, this foot. But the standing foot really, really is. Standing foot is doing the weight of really grounding your whole body. I mean, doing the work of grounding your whole body. Alright. And then come into this standing pigeon. Already, it's interesting. And then we're going to come down. And I, uh, there are ways to do this that are a lot more elegant than what I do. But here's what I do. And we're coming down for the purpose of having this kind of intense experience on our left hip. But mostly, and the intense balancing, but mostly to find that stretch in the bottom foot, which is a big stretch. Whoa. Here we go. Whoa. And then when you're ready, come back. And let's be here in Tanasana for a second. Just stretch out all that stuff we did. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, hands to your heart. Five minutes for feet. Namaste.